Hey, I'm Morgan, and I'm a huge dirt biker. Welcome to another ride video with me and the boys, Thomas, Ewan, me, Rich, the Bibs. We're all out here at Peach Valley. Gonna have a ton of fun. We are testing a new wind screen on this camera. This is the Hero Mini 11, whatever, that one uh, that always has bad wind noise. So let me know in the comments what you think about that. And we're just out here having fun. Uh, it's gonna be a blast. Hey Daisy! It's been a while since I've ridden this motorcycle and I love it so much. Uh, obviously the new one is new <laughs> and awesome so it's kind of hard not to ride it but I did just put brand new shiny plastics on it so I am going to uh, save those plastics at least for a little bit. I love about this motorcycle is just how comfy it is. This is my Kush bike. Still got an RK Tech head and fully valve PBT suspension, but it's just set up more for just cruising. And the motor is absolutely incredible because it, it's got all the low end a guy can ever hope for, but uh, it doesn't, it's just not, it's just not as crazy as that new 300 XC. And if you guys are wondering which carburetor I'm running, I've got the key in 36. Kind of a long story, but the X Tink is not good yet, so I took it off. I'm working with that guy before I release my full reviews of it, but I'll just put it this way I got the key in back on. So, guys, one of the keys to something like this, that off-camber rock, slippery, snow before, it, tires going to be wet, tires are cold, you want a lot of momentum before you get there. So, we're in first, you go nice, do a good drive. There we go. That wasn't pretty, but we got that good drive, which kept the bike moving. This may not have been the best decision of lines. Woo hoo hoo. Woo hoo, she's slippery. Same thing here, momentum. Right into it. I remember I had a 
Moss years ago, much better writer than I am, uh, tell me one time the key to this whole sport is momentum and commitment. I completely agree with that. Ooh, that's icy. On that 125, man, he just loves to pin it. It's so fun. Could be an interesting little moment right here. See if the kid makes it. Yeah, he committed. Let's see if we can do this one. Yeah. Nice work, boys. That's exciting in there a couple times. Yeah, I fell over. It was really funny. Oh, nice. Yeah, I went up one more. <laughs> nice. I, yeah, I was about, I about crashed right that last little one where you guys, you guys went straight. There's a left line that had no tracks. I decided I'd, I'd try it. And... is just a freaking couch through this stuff. So good. Uh, I know you guys are all gonna be like, tell the kid to stand up, tell him to keep his foot and feet on the pegs. Trust me, we talk about it all the time. And he's working on it, but I'm not worried. He rides better than half the adults I know, so I'm not worried about his ability to ride a motorcycle. He'll get there. He's still a little small for this motorcycle, too. A rail slid and it didn't work out. <laughs> Where's the bibs? He's coming. I think he's waiting for Rich. All right, guys, since we got just a second here, waiting for. Rich and Bibbs, uh, let's just talk a little bit about this motorcycle. If you don't know, this is a 2018 300 XCW. Started its life as a 250 XCW. Carbureted, uh, we've got Kelsey's uh, RK Tex uh, piston head and his base gasket stack on this thing. We're running an FMF uh, gnarly pipe. Uh, not because it's necessarily my favorite, it's just what I could get. <laughs> um, TBT valve suspension front and rear, Explore forks with R setup, which is just adjustable base valves and revalving the mid valve on the rebound, but we don't add another mid valve. Uh, we can, obviously, um, we can set them up as full open chambers, but I feel like, bang for the buck, this is the best setup. Uh, it works really good in the rocks and stuff like that. I'll show you here in a bit. It still works pretty good in the, in the whoops too. Hey guys, I want to jump in here real fast and explain this next conversation that's going to happen uh, with the Bibbs and I. Bibbs has been trying out all sorts of different carburetor situations. He's uh, tried Electron, Bellatron, he tried a Kian with the stick in it, uh, he tried the Makuni that came on the bike, 
his bike is a 2019 uh, Husqvarna TX300. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, 2019 Husky TX300. Came with the Makuni. Like I said, he's tried that. He had Electron earlier on his old 250. He's tried all those carburetors. Uh, the Billitron froze when it was cold in the winter. That was bad. And then never really got very good mileage and had issues starting when it was cold. And then, uh, but he, you know, the power delivery was all right. Then the stick, he never could get right. He changed jets, changed jet, gave me the carburetor. I never did install it, gave it back. He cleaned it, he changed needles, he changed everything on it, set it up like it was supposed to be set up. Was never really very happy with it. Uh, the Makuni, actually, I take that back. He never ran it with the Makuni. He took that Makuni off, gave that to the guy that bought his 250 because he wanted to keep the Electron. And the guy with the 250 put it on there and is super happy with the Makuni the way it is. Uh, and we set that up for him. We put a jet block gasket in it and some different jets and a different needle. So he is over with all this stuff. He grabbed his stick key and took the stick block out of it, put the normal block back in it, jet block back in it. I jetted it for him. We put a 160 main jet in it and a 38 pilot and an N8RH needle in the number two position. And well, here you go. There's the bibs. I was waiting on that other guy. Yeah, that's rich. Yeah. How's it running? Great. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Super stark. Yeah, just like it should. Yeah. <laughs> really good. Yeah. I dude, I, did I tell you about the the whole stick? This guy that kept yeah. bothering me about him, and then he ran a, a normal one. Was like, holy crap! Yeah, yeah. Good. I'm not a fan. Obviously, if he can just do that, yeah, <laughs> right. And it runs good. Nah, it's just crisp and smooth. And yeah, just like it's supposed to be. Plenty of power. Yeah. Good. How's it going? Hello, big dog. Oh, those yeah. You're almost as big as these motorcycles, huh, buddy? <laughs> big monster! Yeah. That's okay, you can bark at him. Alright, guys, so this way back is gonna have some big whoops. I'll show you how the suspension can handle that and the rocks that you already saw. Twenty-five sounds good. Yeah, buddy. Making that one twenty-five sing. Yeah. Hey, Ewan, when you're uh, when you get into the whoops, you should squeeze with your legs. Yeah. Like get on the balls of your feet a bit more, and then squeeze real tight with your legs and your knees. Yeah. Because your bike's like just yeah. flopping all around. Yeah. It'll help keep it like tracking straight. Just try it. Yeah. You know, you, oh, you know what I did do? I mean, you put it on, but I route that overflow up and over.
Hi, buddy. Hi. I'll try to go on beside you. Okay, yeah, let's do it. I'll do, I'll do that high, or you want to do like real close together? No, go go up the middle one. Up here? You yeah. guys know, like, go what Ian just did. Yeah. Yeah, do that one, and I'll take the right one. Nice work lap traffic. Candy King. Let's do candy, yeah. Uh, yeah, you got plenty of gas in front. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you're tired. <laughs> oh, it's good for me. I can kind of keep up. <sighs> Where's the bibs? Oh, I love riding dirt bikes with you boys. Thank you guys so much for being so awesome. I yeah, he's on a different ridge. Yeah, here, let's go down here. the wind noise that's really the big thing I was testing I know that bike backwards and forwards but I hope you guys can see how well that TBT suspension works both in the rocks and in the whoops um, obviously no super gnarly rocky stuff but that bike is a couch everywhere you take it I absolutely love it uh, like I said before it's the Explore forks with our setup which is adjustable base valves but then we just valve the one mid valve and we leave the other one nor uh, the way it comes uh, it saves some money, and I think they work really, really well. Now, real high speed, not the best, uh, but that's why I have that other bike is to use for that. So, Punk Rock Club, I love you guys more than I love everyone else. I know you guys are the only ones seeing this thing is the Punk Rock Club. And if you're not part of the Punk Rock Club, hang around, find out what that means, but you definitely need to subscribe if you haven't yet. I love you. Hope to get out and spread the gospel of two wheels, and I desperately hope that what we're doing here at Highland Cycles is inspiring you guys to work on, but more importantly, get out and ride your dirt bikes!